making this a privilege and an honor to connect with you at such a time as this. And for those that have recently joined as well, the newcomers to the group, I extend my greetings to you and warmly embrace you as well. And I'll do the best that I can to serve you. At the end, if you have any questions, feel free to do so by using the comment section below, where you can go over to the bio page where you'll find some links. Simply use them links and reach out to me and I'll get back to you. So affiliate marketing, let's talk about it. I'm gonna answer some questions. So I'm gonna go back to the timeline of 2008 as that's when my affiliate marketing journey started. Now, at the time I was working for this company and I loved working for this company, right? It was a training company and I created a space and I was inside of this training company providing services for a mixture of people. The majority of the people were, I'd say 80% women, 20% men, that had some really difficult times in life, gone through a lot of challenges. And it was my job to provide training, education, support, soft skills, mm -hmm. and help these amazing, beautiful, wonderful people become more employable. And whilst working inside of this company, I was having a whale of a time. I had the space to really create and add flavor and color and detail in the things that I was doing. And I got so super comfy doing it, right? So one particular day, I'm inside of my office, sitting down, doing my work and stuff. And I get this knock on the door. And I'm like, who's that? So the door opens and it's the boss. And the boss is like, oh, Kev, um, can I have a word in the office, please? So I'm like, okay. Pay rise, perhaps. <laughs> Went into her office. I'm sitting down on the chair. She's working, doing her things. And then she spins around. And then there was this awkward silence. And then she said, um, I've got some news, Kevin. I don't know how we're going to pay you this month. So you can imagine how I felt, right? Can you imagine? Mouths to feed, bills to pay, responsibilities, and I ain't getting paid. I had all of these thoughts going on. I thought, you know, this isn't nice, but I'm going to have to go through this. I remember thinking at the time, I'm never going to go th through this ever again. It's not nice, you know, jumping from job to job, desperately hoping that you were gonna land on something which you enjoy doing. And as the pressure's getting on, and time's getting on, and you know you've got those responsibilities to take care of, it's like you're getting so desperate that you'll take anything and you know it's not what you want, but due to responsibilities, you walk through that door only to be in a situation like I was where I'm in an office looking at these big massive windows watching all this traffic go by sitting down on this computer working in IT on a computer listening to a lot of stuff that I really didn't want to be listening to being told when to go to the toilets and stuff how long I can go for and all that <sighs> just thinking about it now <sighs> I'm grateful and I'm thankful for the whole experience because I did learn some stuff while I was there in IT at the Queen's Medical Center. However, the conditions were not suited for myself. Therefore, I needed a way out. And the way that I got out of that situation was, it's like one day I just decided not to go back. I just said, I ain't going back anymore. Stuff it. I've had enough. Enough's enough. And then here I am in a situation like, what are you going to do now, Kevin? So, around that time, I was dating a lovely lady and she invited me to an internet marketing seminar based in Earls Court, London, the UK. I'd never attended an internet marketing seminar before. But I need a change. And for things to change, you have to change, right? So, here I am, getting things ready to go on this adventurous journey to London. 
So I've got my notepad, pen, ready to take copious notes. So we get to this venue, right? I'm sitting down at the back of this venue and there's like a sea of people in there from all different walks of life. Really nice to look at. And here I am at the back observing. And then this gentleman walks down to the front wearing some black trousers or jeans, I can't remember. But he had on a black jacket and a white shirt. And he's he goes by the name of Mark Anastasi. And at the time, Mark Anastasi had not long just had a breakthrough in his business. Prior to that, he was in a situation where he was destitute and broke in a supermarket choosing between which pieces of fruit he should buy. It was like that for him. But fortunately, he had a friend that was quite skillful and knowledgeable on computers. And he would create things online called ebooks, digital information, host them on the internet and make handsome profits. Mark decided to invest some time with his friend and adopted those same skills. He then put that information to practice. Mark Anastasi was sofa surfing and didn't realize that he had hundreds and thousands of dollars in his account through using this same method his friend had taught him. So can you imagine? You've got all of this money piled up you don't even realize. When Mark checked his account and realized he had all of this money, his life changed and he decided to go on a quest to help loads of other people. That was Mark's story that he shared at this seminar that I attended. And after Mark shared that story, in fact, before he shared the story, what he said was, let me see if there's anybody in this room that's made money online, let me see, let me see a show of hands. Loads of people were putting up their hands. I remember being at the back thinking, I know I've, I've sold something on eBay before, that kind of stuff, you know. I qualified, but I just didn't put my hand up. I didn't think that was a qualifier. Anyways, after that, Mark decided to speak and share a simple strategy. At the time, it involved ClickBank and also Google AdWords. ClickBank is a marketplace for people that create products and host them and then they are matched with people that want to promote the products beautiful business model and each product that you promote on clickbank which is absolutely free you get commissions for each sale that you create and these commission structures vary based upon whatever's agreed it can be 50 50 80 20 70, 30, etc. You get the idea, right? Anyways, moving forward. So Mark shares this simple strategy on a projector. So here I am, taking copious notes, pen and pad, like, right, not wanting to miss a thing. It was brilliant. I loved it. I'm like getting really excited. Like, wow, I'm getting all this information and he's sharing it for free. I was so excited. I was looking so forward to going home and putting this information to practice. But something happened on my way back as I was going back home. I had these thoughts, these voices were talking to me. What makes you think it's gonna work for you, Kevin? Oh, come on, Kevin. Money doesn't grow on trees. You need to come from a certain place for it to work. Maybe he just wants to collect your data. All types of voices going on and on and on. I had these limiting beliefs. And as a result of that, I almost cut off the whole thing and not put that information to practice for myself. Thankfully, I plucked up the courage to take action and put this information to practice when I got home. I went through a period of procrastination as I was putting this information to practice, I was running into the kitchen and getting bits of food and coming back and all sorts. But I managed to break through that, which is all good, right? 
So here I am putting this information to practice and I get to the end of doing everything that Mark said, thanks to the notes that I'd taken. Some days went on and I'd be going back to my computer to check to see if I had any transactions. And I had no transactions after a couple of days. So you can imagine how I felt, right? Ah, it was all a scam. Ah, Mark Anastasi just wanted to take my details for his database and whatnot. And, but then I had another thought. Why would somebody invest their energy, time, money, go to Earl's Court, hire a room, tell a story, share the information. Come on. That's like, why would someone do that? Surely there's more to it. Put your character on the line like that and put your name on it and have a reputation there. Come on, surely. So a few more days went on and I decided to go and check my computer. And guess what? There was transactions there, $47 after $47 after $47 after $47 after $47. For me, following this simple strategy, I was promoting a dog book by a vendor called Sit, Stay, Fetch. And it was a product that I had not created. A niche that I don't know anything about. I love dogs to bits. They're great. You know, the wonderful. I appreciate them. I don't know anything about them. If they run up to me, I will stand still like, you know what? I'm going to stay calm and relaxed because I believe you're not going to give me a nip. I believe you're not going to attack me. I appreciate you, doggy. <laughs> you know, I don't know anything about dogs, but what I do know is this. I was taught how to find people that were passionate about dogs or any subject matter and how to add a product inside of that group, that niche of people that were passionate. And based upon the law of averages, there'll be a return for each person that would visit the link, take a look, which would then convert into a sale, which then I would be rewarded for, for adding value into the marketplace. Once that happened, I remember putting my hands on my head thinking, this works. Now, I went through this complete transition. A lot of old beliefs collapsed and a new set of beliefs became alive. There's just something about when you receive your first check. At the time, ClickBank would send you, the only option was checks through the post, but from Wells Fargo. So I remember getting my first check and photocopying it and blowing it up. I don't know where it is now. I'd love to show it you, but I just don't know where it is. I've gone through a lot of change since. So um, when you get your first check, it's lovely. And then you get your second check and then these checks keep coming through. And it's like, yeah, these checks. However, this is what happened to me. I got so super excited I started to do so many different things. And as a result of that, I was receiving emails from YouTube at the time saying, Mr. Clark, you need to make some adjustments to certain content that you're putting out there. And if you don't, then we're going to ban you and you're going to lose your account and lose everything. Because I had so much going on at the time, I missed these warnings. And as a result of that, my wrist got slapped. I lost my account. I lost thousands and thousands of followers, viewers, money, dollars. I put so much energy and time into that and it just, I lost it just like that. My confidence shattered. I remember grabbing my laptop, running to a supermarket, cafe, Asda, sitting down in there. I wanted to bawl. But I didn't, and I should have, right? I was vets, fuming. Lesson learned. It took me a long time to build up my courage, and thanks to great, amazing people and certain information around me at the time, I managed to bounce back. 
Some other things happened a few years after that, which was quite trying, near-death experience, etc. However, I'm here with a ton of lessons learned so that you don't have to go through the same snares and the pitfalls and the mishaps that I've gone through. And that's the beautiful thing about being in this space at this time. I can help you go to a next stage, to the next level on your affiliate marketing journey. It's a beautiful thing. It brings me great pleasure to be able to serve you at such a time as this. I am humbled, grateful, really grateful. So I don't know what your story is at the moment. I don't know where you've been. I don't know what you've heard. I don't know what you've seen. But there is purpose on your life. And you're here to do some great things, dynamic things. There's only one you that can do it the way that you do it. And when you decide to just go and do it, you will not be disappointed. Life's lived looking forward, but only understood looking back. So I sincerely encourage you to continue to connect with eagles. Let's use the analogy of birds in the air that are flying to a destination. What they do is they create this vacuum, they come together and create a vacuum. And inside of that vacuum, that vacuum carries them to the next destination. The birds will use the wings to navigate. But once they're inside of that vacuum together as a team moving to that next destination, the transition becomes a smoother one. So you are one of those birds. You are that eagle connecting to other eagles, creating that vacuum, all of that energy coming together, that force, propelling you, pushing you, carrying you to that next level. So welcome. You've done well, you've done so well to come this far, a big well done. And I look forward to helping you and assisting you in your business, in your affiliate marketing business, in your online business. With that being said, your next step to connect is to simply go over to my details. You'll find them in the page somewhere. Find out some more about the services and take action and enjoy the journey. So as we wind down, I'm just going to say thank you. And I look forward to seeing you on the other side. That's it from me, Kevin Clark, believing in you. Okay, see you on the inside.